Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by to vibe with me a little bit. <laughs> In this video, I am using some new products. I think maybe one product I'm new. You, there is one product in this video that I am using that is new. I recently did a Sephora haul and picked up some new things that are new to me. Not necessarily new products that have been out there, but I've been watching a lot of makeup tutorials, makeup videos, just getting inspiration, feeling good about coming in my room and doing makeup and recording them and posting them to my YouTube channel, trying to get better with that. I'm not gonna get into that. I did use a new product in this video. Again, a new product to me. It is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. I put this on after I finished my makeup and it didn't give me that dewy look that I was going for. I guess because I didn't spray a lot of it. I didn't put a lot on there because I didn't know how it was going to work. But I'm using that new product in this video. For eyeshadow, I use my Tried and True, a makeup palette that I always reach for. This makeup palette is from Morphe. It is a 3502 palette. And I use some oranges and browns in here to get this look. This look is gorgeous. It is, it looks like it can be a summertime look because I use, earring is huge because I use the orange and the, the shimmer and stuff but it could switch to a fall end of summer beginning of fall look if you're going for something like this the oranges and the browns in there are definitely fall the golds could be gold leaves you know it's 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 whatever however you want to do it it's you do what you want to do because that's what I'm going to do so I use this Morphe palette to get this look. I am trying some new lashes that I got from Amazon. I don't remember the name, but I use those. One of them is not even on good, you know. I don't have anywhere to go today. I wish I did, cause I would be super duper cute. I am really loving this look. My earrings are huge, so when I move, but I love, I love a big hoop earring. Then I put some little charms, shells in my hair. I don't know if you noticed, but I got a fresh retight. Got the fresh retight going, so looking good, feeling good. My locks are doing beautifully. They're flourishing. I'm still at the maturing stage of my locks getting to that place where they need to be. I, like I said, just got a retight. You can see my scalp. You can see my edges. <laughs> so I put it up in a little style. You can't really see my bun, but I did just put it in not so much of a, a tight bun because I don't want to put too much on my scalp. So just did this little bun up at the top but you see what I did here look at that they are so beautiful I love my locks I love them oh my gosh <laughs> so they're doing great per my loctician the only thing she told me that I need to make sure that I'm doing is when I wash my locks I need to band them. I need to keep banding them. For some reason, I stopped doing that because I felt it was time consuming. I'm like, that takes up a lot of time. But I do want my locks to do really good continuously. So I will start back banding my locks. I told her that I would. If not, I know she's going to call me out on it when I go back. <laughs> but I feel like I'm rambling when I talk to myself, which I talk to myself all the time. I talk to myself for a long time. But this video is going to be detailed with how I do my makeup. I've picked up some 
new techniques, I guess, that I don't normally do. And you'll see that in the video. So I don't know. I felt kind of weird doing them because it's nothing that I've ever done before. So I wanted to see how it would look with me doing that on my face. If you want to see how I achieved this gorgeous look, please stick around and it is coming right up. Okay, so of course, starting with a clean, fresh face, moisturized, hydrated, all that good stuff. But first, let's get into these beautiful locks. I just wanted to show you the back of them, how they are looking in the back. My hair was down my back when I first got my locks, but of course with shrinkage and pulling when I got them installed, <laughs> this is where they are right now, but I love them and they are looking fabulous. Now I'm going to moisturize my lip with that MAC. Oh, it is some type of moisturizer. I am upstairs. I am not downstairs with all these products. If y'all only knew the troubles I have gone through trying to get this video edited, I'm not even going to go on a negative note because the good Lord is blessing us with rain right now. We have been needing our yard water. It has been burnt to a crisp. My poor husband has been getting out there water in the yard, but it seems like it has not gone <laughs> well with the heat here, but we getting some rain so I'm gonna focus on that and let that thunder and that lightning and that rainfall just soothe me right now don't even want to get into it but anyway I'm gonna be using all brushes for this makeup look and I took my fawn concealer and carving out my eyebrows with the benefit precisely my brow pencil in both number four and number five I use number five to go in the top to make it a little darker. And then I go with the lighter one. Wait, no, no, no. I think I kind of mix them up, wait. So I use the lighter one just to do the carving out and go to the front and then go to the back. But I kind of mix them up both to get it a little even, not so dark, not so light to where it's matching my hair. So I use both number four and number five, precisely benefit my brow pencil to clean that up or make it look presentable. Even though I'm not going anywhere, this look turned out really good. I know in the beginning of the video, the eyelash was probably bothering you. It wasn't bothering you as much as it was bothering me because it was on my face. <laughs> like I said, wasn't going nowhere. Went and took them right on off, washed my face and got in the bed. I'm really trying to get more content up, I guess, just because I want to, because I'm playing in makeup or, you know, just dabbling around. I bought new makeup. I have some new products that I wanted to try. So I want to be able to share that with y'all, those who are interested. So I need to, I'm getting to where I'm, I'm getting more videos out there. They're not fancy dancy right now, but this software I'm using is trash. I mean, it's trash and, and I don't like it. So it kind of messed me up. I'm gonna have to try something else because that's not what it is. I don't care for it right now. But anyway, <laughs> I use my Milk Hydro Grip Primer and now I'm going in with the NW45 MAC Concealer and I'm coat correcting. I love what this did. You know, you see where my face was dark in some areas, especially under my eye, on my mobile eyelid, you know, around my eye. That's where I have the dark circles and things that I've been working on. It's getting better, but I haven't color corrected in so long, but I used that NW45 concealer, which I used for years, years and years to conceal and not conceal well it does conceal but to color correct you see how that is blended out and it's matching my face and this is before i put foundation down so i'm blending that out with a smashbox concealer brush that can really get into the under eye and over the 
mobile lid and my eyelid area so look what that did look at that i don't even have on foundation but the nw45 matches my skin tone undertone look at that where are the dark circles <laughs> now i'm using my maybelline fit me foundation this is in mocha it's a 360 and i'm taking a little bit that's how much i use just barely even a dab I don't know if that was a British accent or what, but <laughs> nothing more of a little dab on my tray. And I used a flat brush to spread that out over my face instead of using my finger and taking that Morphe M439 brush. It is a good foundation brush. If you do not have that, get one or get three of them. <laughs> But see how that blended? That's mocha, and it matches my complexion very well, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Now I'm going in and taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealers. I have 45, I have Camel, and I have 30. I think that's Honey, the brighter one that I'm going to use. I probably don't show it here, but that's the one I'm using last to just really brighten the eye back up. But I like to use these to conceal and brighten up the face. This is a different technique that I'm using. I don't think I've done this before. If I did, I don't remember. But putting concealer on my cupid's bow, it's going to look really weird. But I think in the end, it turned out right. I don't really see the purpose of me doing this. But I've seen it done on videos and I was like, mm, let me try it. I don't know if people still do this, but the videos that I've seen... I do see where they do apply the concealer on the cupid's bow and even when makeup artists are doing makeup they do that sometimes so i guess it's for maybe shadow or something i don't have any shadowing or anything that i know of that i could see could y'all see any shadow i don't know but i wanted to try that just to see how it would look to see if it did anything different for my makeup can't really tell but it's looking really crazy right now but i'm still using that smashbox concealer brush smashbox concealer brush to blend everything out and going in with laura the translucent powder and setting all of the concealer where i concealed and highlighted under my eye in that cupid's bow area on my chin bridge of my nose and my forehead using one of those triangle, I almost said square. Y'all know this a triangle, clear as day. Using a triangle sponge. I can, my brain is not working. I don't even know what that's called. But using that to set, and I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour stick. That's one of my favorite contour sticks. I really like that a lot. That's in Cool Earth. And I didn't want to do a strong contour, but my face has gotten a, a bit thicker these days so i want to try to thin it out a little bit so yeah this makeup look turned out really cute i really like it and it's something that i do want to do again when i step out you know when i have time when i don't have anything planned really i guess just a last minute thing where i have time to sit and do my makeup this is a look that i want to create man it's Every look that I've done, I want to recreate it. I just haven't done it yet. I just get up and be gone. But I do want to sit and recreate this look along with the other ones that I've done. But I'm taking a brush from, I believe that's NYX or NYX, if that's what you people call it these days. I shouldn't say you people. That didn't sound right. But people call it NYX. I call it NYX because that's what it's called. I don't know but I'm using that little brush there and just taking the powder and setting where I did my contour next I'm going in with my Mac micro smooth that is another favorite of mine and brushing away but also patting in the translucent powder just so that it sets this is how I do my makeup on a regular if I am going somewhere this these are steps that I, I take so i know i'm not going anywhere right now but i'm just showing like a detailed look or a detailed process 
on how I personally apply my makeup with doing a couple of things extra. I do say that's extra because I've never done them before and I wanted to see what it does to my face. Now I'm taking my Black Radiance Contour Palette and taking that darker brown in there for contouring and I am setting the liquid contour, setting it with a powder so that it doesn't look too crazy. And I wanted to just really bronze that up. So I'm gonna use a couple of bronzers too to go back over that contour. And I'm using the same contour powder. <laughs> it's time to go to bed. It's rain. I'm ready to relax. But anyway, getting all that powder in there set and taking my MAC Fix Plus Setting Spray and spraying that. When you use this, drench your face in there because once it dries down, you will see here where it has soaked up all that powder and everything is looking beautifully cohesive so i just take the spf i believe no that's not spf that's the sephora micro smooth that i'm using now just to set where i put the spray and to just balance out any harsh lines just remove those as best as i can and let everything just blend really well together i'm taking this blush right here this is a beautiful blush from juvia's place it's number two i think i think it's the brighter pinks and i like the brighter pink on my skin tone that really just put some color on my face and i like how it looks i like how it looks I, now that it's going to be fall i have more of the darker shades tones the more of the burgundies and the reds but i think pink will still do it pink will still do it I, I like that pink but i may be using some more burgundies and things like that for blush but i really like that palette from juvia's place this is another new product i've used it a couple of times already but it is new to me the mac and it's just another type of brown bronzer oh my gosh i'm just mesmerized by my brown skin but it's another bronzer that I picked up and I've been using. I I think it smooths out the contour. It doesn't give much color, but I love using it. Now next to the eyes, I'm using my MAC Paint Pot, the Painterly Pot, as my eyeshadow base. I do like using this. I do like to use a base for my eyeshadows because I don't think my eyeshadow stays when I don't use it because I've tried to apply eyeshadow without having a eyeshadow base and it doesn't stay for me so I like to use a base and this is the Morphe palette that I'm going to be using with those orange colors in there so on this row I'm using those two shades in the middle and then well three shades in the middle so in that third row and those two next to it in the middle, I'm using those. Starting with that brown color right there. No, that's orange. Girl, I'll tell your colors. But using that orange and going to apply that in my, well, as my transition. So it's going a little above the crease and in the crease. But you'll see that I'm going to be using two different orange colors and a brown to get the payoff that I want in this eyeshadow look. I wonder if y'all can hear the rain. It is coming down, it's so beautiful. So really just blending that out with a MAC 217 brush, I believe that's a 217 brush. So using that and really packing it on, I didn't want to go super duper strong, but it did come out that way because those colors are very pigmented in that Morphe palette. So, I mean, it, it turned out beautifully. It, 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 it is. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. So using that orange as a transition, and then I'll go in with the orange next to it. That one right there. I don't think they have names on them. But using that one to go now kind of at the bottom, and I think it's a little brighter. 
so I did end up toning it down a little bit with one of those browns so that's what I'm doing here just really blending and blending out I don't think I blended enough again this is what you want to do when you are going somewhere you know really blending it out and making sure the colors and the shades all go in together to make a nice transition make a nice payoff make it look really smooth no harsh lines do all of that so really taking your time so i'm taking a flat brush that's another brush from mac i don't remember the number I don't remember the number, but it is one of those flatter eyeshadow brushes that you can use to apply eyeshadows, but I ended up using my finger because I don't think the brush did this color any justice because it's more of a shimmery color. So I used my finger and then just kind of brushed it out with a brush just to tone it down a little bit. So I'm taking that shimmery shade that was right there in the corner and just going in my inner tear duct area or my inner corner, not my tear duct, but my, is that my tear duct? I don't know but my inner corner to just highlight and brighten that up just to bring the whole eye look together and then I'm taking this eyeliner this liquid liner from L'Oreal I believe it is and giving myself like a little wing cat eye type thing and those are the lashes that I got I got those from Amazon I don't remember the name but you saw what they are I did end up having to cut them a little bit on the ends so they wouldn't be too big on my face but I didn't glue them down good enough <laughs> I didn't glue them down good enough because I mean I put enough glue on there but I use duo and duo has been tripping lately so I need to find another glue that is gonna work without giving me problems I don't know if I let it dry down too much or what but I didn't feel like fooling with that because I knew I wouldn't go nowhere so that lash is going to be hanging on by a thread until I take them off. So, whatever. I'm taking this mascara from MAC and then applying that on the lids. Just, not the lids, but the lashes to bring my natural lashes in and the faux lashes together to make them mesh together. And then taking the Charlotte Tilbury Finishing Powder. That's number three. It's a brighter one, so I'm using that to set under the eye to brighten up the, the under eye using that. I really like that too, because you can tell the difference where it brightened it up. And then I took some more, I think that was Fenty Mocha Mommy that I used just to give my face some more bronze and my nose contour some more bronze and, you know, doing all that like that. Now I'm going with the Rare Beauty Lip Pencil. It's a brown color. I think this one is called Be Nice. I think. <laughs> but it's the brown one. I really like how that lays down. And I'm going in with the Juvia's Place Lipstick. I think that's something to do with sand. It's a beautiful nude color. I thought nude would go really good with this. I was going to put a gloss because I did get a Fenty gloss, one of the new ones that she just released, that gloss stick. I really like it. I did put it on after this video and it looked beautiful on top of this lip. But I didn't wear it for this video, but I will try that out again. I'm not really a gloss lip person, but that, mm, I like gloss lips. I just don't wear it that much. So now I'm going in with that Milk Hydro Grip setting spray and it's supposed to leave a dewy look to it i didn't spray that much as you can see i didn't spray that much but i am gonna drench my face in it the next time i use it i mean i'm not going anywhere so i'm not overusing this stuff just to really wash it off you know like that like that especially if we're being new new you know so i want to try that outside <laughs> when i go outside i'm gonna try it again and see if it gives me that dewy 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 Okay, but my hair is, ah, you know, <laughs> I don't like to show out like that, y'all. But, you know, when I look good, <laughs> I look good. <laughs> and I'm really loving my locks. I don't know if I'm a, yeah, I was just messing around with this. And, you know, feeling good, looking good, girl, blessed, blessed. 
and highly favored and you gonna know about it so my locks i was just trying to style them so i put it up in a little bun like a messy bun nothing really neat just trying some stuff out i'm not a hairstylist by no means never liked doing my hair never knew how to do my hair never knew how to do my daughter's hair <laughs> they will tell you i'm just not a hair person makeup and nails i got you hair mm -mm. i tried but no hence the reason why i have these beautiful sister locks right here now but that is the look with the bun bun so i'm gonna be showing how i attempted to really put these jewels on my locks now my locks are you see how small they are they're very tiny and these jewels are you know what i mean whatever you want to call them lock jewelry i got them off amazon i wanted to hook them on but you can see my locks are way too tiny for the jewelry so i just clipped them in some kind of way i do have these like caviar bee type bees that I, the sprinkles that's what they're called sprinkles i do have those and i want to put those in my hair i might get my loctician to do it because i'm a little nervous i want to do it to where i've seen them done i've watched some tutorials on how to install the sprinkles but i'm nervous because i saw somebody using a needle and thread i saw somebody use this um like a threading needle type thing i saw people putting yarn i'm not doing that i'm a little nervous so i may get my loctician to install them but they're the really tiny sprinkles that i've been seeing on locks i think they're really cute classy elegant it looks good on locks especially sister locks so i opted for these right now and I struggled. See, my locks are too small. I couldn't even get the little hook in there. <laughs> so I'm like, I gave up and just did this like this. I think it looks really cute. I'm gonna try to add some more shells in there, but my locks are so small and I'm okay with that. But this is the finished look. I really enjoyed doing this video. I really enjoyed playing in makeup. It's makeup therapy for me, therapy for me like I always say. But that's the end of it, y'all. I hope y'all like it. And I don't know what I'm doing right here. Trying to be cute, I guess. But I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.